You're good, you sure? <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> on my desk, I've got a keyboard and a mouse and a trackpad. Ryan's out there doing the switching. He put his book on top of the trackpad. He couldn't figure out why the mouse wasn't working because it was sitting on the trackpad. Don't do that. <laughs> All right. Good morning and welcome to Photo Joseph's Photo Moment, uh, one of a live daily photography show. I hope the only one, as far as I know, it's the only one. Somebody let me know. It's always good to know if there's competition out there or if I'm the only one. So today, we're going to talk about something that my, uh, my sister Ryan got as a Christmas present. It's this little pile of goodies here that came in this little handy dandy box. This is an iPhone uh, accessory kit, mobile photography accessory kit, and it comes with all kinds of fun little doodads. It came with a little miniature tripod. It came with a light, which I have yet to plug in. We'll see how bright this thing is. And it came with a clip to hold one of three lenses on. And then a little microphone and a Bluetooth remote, which frankly is probably one of the coolest parts of this. So here, let's take a close up look at all these little doodads here. So we've got here again, the light. We've got three little lenses. You can see these things are tiny, tiny little lens. Oops, here we go. Tiny little lens guys, uh, microphone, Clip, remote, case, tripod. Now, one of the things you may have noticed is that, boom, boom, something's wrong here. Ah, uh, yes. If you are the proud owner of a iPhone 7 series, you have no way to connect these. You know, there's videos online that show you how to drill a hole in the bottom of your iPhone and that will add a microphone. It's not real. It's not real. So if you got a seven, you can't use this. However, we did find a couple of similar kits that uh, we're going to put in the show notes that have um, some of these accessories, but not all of them. Could not find one that has everything, the light, the microphone and everything else, which is a bummer because this is kind of a cool little kit. So let's take a look at how it all comes together. Case. Okay, so. All right, this starts, we'll start with the lenses. We'll, we'll come to the plug-in things later because the lenses you can use no matter what camera you're with. We'll get rid of the remote for now. So you've got this clip, a little clipio. Let's go back to this camera here. Got this little clipo here. And this has just got to pass through right now. Nothing, no, there's no glass in here. And then three lenses. So the lenses it comes with are, let's see, that is a macro lens. You probably can't really read that, but that says macro lens. And this one says fisheye lens. And this one says, this one says wide angle lens. Okay, so no telephoto weing. So basically this is all about going wider and really wide or really close, but not telephotoing. It's a kind of surprised actually. Why doesn't it have a telephoto? Ryan, why doesn't it have a telephoto? This thing should have a telephoto. Anyway. So you got three lenses and we'll start with the macro because, because that one's cute. We're gonna take the little macro lens. Try and take the cap off. I would say that all these little pieces, you're bound to lose at least all of these at some point, but anyway, we'll take the macro. We're going to screw this guy in. So it just threads in here. One thing we discovered playing with this earlier is it's quite easy. So now it's coming off properly, but it was quite easy to disassemble. Let's see if I can get it. No, I can't. To disassemble this piece, the, the ring came off, the lens fell out. It's like, I don't even know if it's in the right way. We're going to hope so. So this then just clips over your iPhone. So you go like this and clip that on. And in theory, that's all there is to it. There you go. Just like so. So let's see how this thing actually works. Let's uh, fire up the iPhone here. That's my credit card. You don't want that. That's my baby. You don't want that. Come on, open. There we go. Open up the camera. And I need something close to focus on. Uh, here, we'll use the keyboard. It's nice and easy to see. And let's just see, because this is just the built-in camera. Obviously, haven't added anything to this yet. We're just going to see how close we can get. This actually is a good judge because we can look at the letters and see how many letters across we can see. So I'm tapping on the screen to force it to focus. So that's too close. Uh, it's a little still too close. There we go. So we are talking about, if I can see if I can level this thing out. Okay, basically the width of three keys. The G, H, and J are all fitting in there. And that's about as close as I can get. So that's pretty good. That's a good judge. Okay, so now let's take this little guy. And obviously, this is not something you're going to stick in your pocket. So that's something to consider. At this point, this is no longer a pocket, pocketable camera. You clearly have to be aware of what you're carrying around here. But anyway. All right, let's see here. Let's see. How, that's uh, that's close. <laughs> closer, closer. 
Whoa, okay, that is definitely close. A little distortion around the edges. You can see it uh, it warping around the edges and a little softness in there. Now, let's see if I get, can I get closer and tap on it? Oh, God, look at that, I can get even closer. Let's see if we can get even closer. Okay, that's, let's see, is it going? It's not going there, okay. Wow, but that is almost, look at that, okay. We are filling the key, the screen with the key. I'd say that's pretty close. Oh, it went sideways, sorry, go back. Let's try that again. There we go, fill the frame, get that really close. Yeah, look at that, that works. I mean, that's pretty That's pretty cool. Obviously shallow depth of field, part of that appearing shallow depth of field though, I think is the distortion around the edges. Um, hmm, let me get something, I don't anything really 3D, let's try this. Oh no, here, ah, come here, God, let's this guy. The light's going the wrong direction. I'm gonna move over here. And let's see if we get really close up to, oops. That's not what we want. We want to go back to the camera. Move this thing around so it's a little bit out of the way. Okay, let's get this real close. Get my cables not tangled up. And how close can we get? We got really close. There we go. So at that point, that's pretty cool. Oh, you're obviously getting a bit of bokeh in there. That is one close focuser. Neat. Okay. I kind of like it. That's cool. All right, let's see what we got next. So that was that. Now we're going to put on the wide angle lens which is probably this one yes it is the wide angle lens so okay don't drop them if i break it ryan i'm sorry i'll replace it don't break it screw that guy in is that straight yeah that's straight okay back to this so let's see here now i'm going to go landscape so we get the whole view on here um let's see so i'm going to hold here's what i'll do i will hold the camera in the same position so i'm that distance away from the subject. Uh, you can see the keyboard, you can see how much of the keyboard you can see. Well, you will be able to when I go back to there. You can see basically the entire keyboard at that view. So now let's take the wide angle. I'm just gonna clip this on. There's the lens, clip that on, and it helps if you don't cover the lens. There we go. Okay, so, well, obviously wider, but man, that's a lot of fuzziness around the edges. That is really adding a lot of soft focus around the edges. I'm not too thrilled with that. Let me, uh, let's try something else. I'm gonna go, try not to break anything. Let's go this way, okay. Look, it's so meta, it's picture in picture. And you can see there, okay, this, actually this is kind of cool. Let's do that, there we go, that's me, and go back to that, okay, cool. All right, and then let's put this guy on and go back to that. I mean, there's there's clearly distortion and softening. Let's see if I can, I'm trying to touch my face <laughs> so that I can drag the exposure down. There we go, look at that, I made it. The out of sync we're seeing is because of the delay between the iPhone and the real time view. So bit of distortion, bit of softening happening there. All right, All right let's go back to this view and change it out one more time. Let's see what the fisheye looks like. While you're watching, for those watching, I forgot to bring up my live counter view. Anyway, if anybody's watching, oh, here, that's exactly what I was talking about. Look, I did it again. Okay, so get rid of this crap here. I was trying to take this off and I've got now the lens, the lens, separate from the case, the outer shell, and then the inner shell, which also has a lens. So let's see, I guess it's, we're going to assume it goes that way, put that back together. That should not come apart quite that easily. I mean, you'd have to be real careful. You would not want to drop that out in the field. Okay, next up is the fisheye, which obviously would be, dist be distorted because it's a fisheye, but this one should be a lot of fun, actually. I think this one will be kind of cute. Okay, let's go back to the iOS only view. Let's just, uh, here we're gonna do, not that way. We're gonna do this again because I think that worked out quite well. There we go, and fisheye. <laughs> All right, that's kind of fun. Man, you really, you look awful this way. That is, that is, <laughs> ah, there we go. Ah, that's the one. That's cool. I, you know, where's, how do I take a picture? I like this thing. Let's just get real close here. Ah. <laughs> I can hear Ryan out there laughing. That's funny. Uh-oh. Oh, I just hit the, what did I do? I seem to have lost picture on the phone. I wonder if I unplugged it. Uh, let's try that again. Bring up the camera. Okay, that's back. No, it's not back. 
I'm, I'm looking at my iOS view. It's gone all dark on there. Let me just unplug and plug this back in. It might have been me and a cable. The fisheye one is cool. This is fun. I could see all kinds of havoc fun being had with this. Come on. Come back on. There it goes. There it goes. All right, let's try this again. There we go. I want to take a picture. Hit that volume button and take the picture. I think that's what I did last time. Okay, cool. So now I can take a look at the picture. That, there you go. There's the icon for this show. That is just, good Lord, that's tragic. Okay, so that's kind of fun. <laughs> Why not, right? What else are you going to do? Okay, so now let's take a look at the other accessories it comes with. It comes with a light microphone and the stand. Let's take a look at the stand. So the stand, let's get a nice close-up view of this thing. Um, bring that up. So the stand, oh, got the camera too, too high for this. It's got, okay, we're just do this upside down. It's got a little stretchy, bouncy clipper thing, which actually I wanted to see will my iPhone 7 Plus fit in there? It will. So the bigger phone will fit in there. That's good to know. Ah, of course, we're doing it with this phone because that's the one that works. Look, it's that guy. And uh, there you go, a little tripod. I and mean, that's pretty, you know, pretty basic. It's a tripod. It does what a tripod does. It's kind of a Joby ripoff type of thing where you've got these kind of bendy legs, but they definitely are not as cool bendy as a Joby is, but that's okay. The Joby Gorilla Pod, that's what I'm referring to. And there you go. Fun little, that works. Okay, it's a tripod. <laughs> Usually you wouldn't have this cable attached, obviously. All right, now let's try, so we're gonna take off the cable. I don't need to look through it anymore. We're gonna try the light and the microphone. I was hoping I could do an actual mic test routing through here, but the live audio doesn't seem to be getting transmitted from here through here, so I can't do that. But uh, I'll just show how it works. Plug this in and you know, that's it, right? Voila, you've got a microphone on there. So you can you can turn it, that's cool. So if you're doing a vertical video, I don't know why you would do that, but if you were, you could turn it that way. If you're doing a selfie thing, you could turn it back around this way, that works fine, or position it wherever you like. So that works, that's kind of cool. Um, we're just gonna assume that it doesn't suck. And uh, one br bummer, one real problem though, is that I can't put this and the light on at the same time, right? So right. let's put the light on now. Now the light has its own power. It comes with, it's not in here now, but the thing comes with a little USB cable. So you can see there a little USB port, an off and on switch. So let's turn that on and it's a light. And there's also a dimmer on the side. So it is, it is a light. How bright is this thing? Well, that's, uh, that remains to be seen. High, medium, low. It's got a, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, God, now I'm blind. Probably can't see that through there. There is a blend of um, daylight and amber lenses in there. So just like the iPhone, does this one do it? Yeah, just like the iPhones, what, from the six on, where they put multiple colored lights inside the flash to do the little daylight balancing thing. But this isn't flashing, this is just on all the time with three little dimming uh, settings. All right, cool. And then, don't forget to turn this off, that'd be bad. And then the remote. Now this is kind of cool. I, I kind of want one of these just on its own the little remote. So let's go back in here. I already paired it to the Bluetooth. I don't need to show that to you, do I? You believe me? It paired to the Bluetooth, pairs like any other Bluetooth thing. And if we bring up the camera, let's bring up the camera view. We'll do a, um, let's flip that thing around. Oops, um, there we go. There we go, and little remote and, and, oh, I gotta turn this on. That'd be good. Oh, it was on. Now it's flashing. Oh, I guess now it's trying to pair again. Maybe we are going to see it pairing. Let's see if it automatically pairs. There's a little blinky blue light. See the little blinky blue light? You probably can't see the blinky. Oh, there you go. You can see the blinky blue light. It's blinky. It's blue. And it's not pairing automatically. So let's go look at here and in here. And Bluetooth. And yeah, it's not pairing automatically. I mean, it's paired. It's not connecting automatically, I should say. So I guess you have to manually connect it. That seems a little disappointing, doesn't it? Now it's connected. Okay. So now we go back to the camera. Look, it's me. Push the button. Voila. Takes a picture. All there is to it. All right, cool. So there you go. It's a fun little accessory kit. Uh, if you are using an older iPhone, cool. The lens assembly could be better. I would like it to not fall apart, but a little bit of a little drop of Loctite would fix that. And only one of them. I'm pretty sure it's the same one that came apart earlier, uh, came apart here. So it's probably just that one. So maybe it's just got a little wonky. A little drop of Loctite, just don't let it get in the lens. And it's an interesting idea clipping it on. I do kind of wish it didn't have this huge thing sticking off the side, but obviously you can't have a huge thing covering the screen. So I guess it's not really a better way to do that, at least with this type of a design. But that does seem, and this could be smaller. I don't know. 
Could be smaller. Sorry, Ryan, don't mean to tear on your Christmas present here. But you asked me to redo this. <laughs> <laughs> Here I'm laughing. Uh, there you go. And the microphone, uh, again, we're just going to assume it doesn't suck. That's better than not having a microphone at all. And the light, cool, except too bad you can't do the light and the microphone at the same time. So you can't use it to do lighted, better sounding video. What are you going to do? All right. That's it. I'm out of here, guys. Take care. No well-life questions. So we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.